Alright, Shalom, Israel, we are at the BK. Shout out to one West, 125th Street, Holland, New York. And the Commander, Johnny Hunter. We saw some 5,000 to suffer God. We're out here in Oakland, California at Lake Mary. Routine holiday. What we got on? My name is Ayam Kirkland. It's all about Orange Dennis and Donna. On, on, you are seeing behind me is my own product, my own creation, my own party, my own design. I try to bring the best of my heritage to African American community to teach them about the, the background that we are from. So all you can see here is my own work. So what is June 10 about? What is June 10? Okay, June 10, uh, according to what, uh, according to the history of my falls out here, June 10 was back in 1864 when our African American brothers and sisters were we came free in this land of all as we call America. Did the people of Ghana sell the people who here? Seriously, I'm very happy that you asked this question. Back in the days that he in my my brother and I were now born, the, you know, the, the, black, the white people came to Africa asking our our our, our king and queens that they need a, a, you know they need people who can come here and work. So as they cross that ocean, as they cross the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, they change their mind and say, we are going to slave, slave my great great grand forefathers who have come here to work. That is according to the, the, the negotiation with the kings of Ghana, the white people want to come here and look for people who can come and work. And after the work, they, they send them back to their origin. But as they cross the, the Pacific Ocean, they changed their mind and started slaving our great great grandfather who were who was supposed to come here and work and return home as free. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Oh, yo, was that good? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. You gotta be honest, man. Because, you know, we watch the history. But what we understand is that they said that no white man went into the internet. He said lie. And lie. they said that the people from Ghana were grounding up our ancestors and taking us over. It's a lie. So history is a lie. You're telling the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I don't believe you, man. I'm you gotta be honest. I'm being I'm, I'm, I'm honest. Right, 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 right. You're telling the truth. Right. Right. The truth is the infamous room of no return. That is also the door of no return. When the slaves got here, they never knew where they were going. Neither did they know what was going to happen to them. All they knew was to get out of this room onto the boats. Some actually committed suicide because that was the only way they thought they could get their freedom. In fact, it was the Africans who did the raiding and selling of Africans to the Europeans. No European ever went into the hinterland to raid for slaves. It was the Africans who did it. And bef be before the Europeans even landed here, slavery was already in the system. It was slaves that worked in the palaces for the kings. I thought it was more, even at that time, than just money. It had to be just some, just something else that drove them to just kill these people. Yeah, yeah. why brutalize it like that? Why brutalize? It? But then again, I guess that's that's justification, the rationalization. If you brutalize it, then you have to say to yourself, there's no way we as a Christian people could brutalize other humans, so they can't be humans. But did it surprise you to find out that Africans were involved as well as middlemen? Um, the thing I. I knew that Africans were involved. I didn't know the extent to what they were involved. And I also didn't know that once they found out what was going on here, and, and I know that they had to know what was going on here, that they stayed a willing participant in it. That, that's the crazy part of it. I think I was surprised and hurt and angry and everything because, you know, these were people that, you know, you know I sort of had a fantasy about them and, and as our ancestors and your ancestors don't sell you. So that fantasy was sort of blown away. And Going back to the Bible, right? Yeah. The Bible says that the people of Africa are the children of Ham. We teach that black people enslaved in America were the Israelites. So that we were not in the same tribe. That we was uh, sold because they saw us as the kids of the tribe. I've never heard this before. No. Well, how bad it was. Yes, he knew. They knew how bad it was. 
That was why they didn't trade their own people. Mm -hmm. They would trade people from the wars and battles they did all around the country. Well, there's no attempt to explain away anything here. News this evening, an apology for the slave trade from an unexpected place. Today, delegates from several African nations read apology letters from tribal leaders. Well, they say they're sorry for enslaving and trading fellow Africans to nations around the world. To apologize deeply on behalf of the chiefs and people of Gold Coast and Ghana for the atrocities, the cruelty, the inhuman treatment that were committed 400 years ago by my ancestors during the Atlantic slave trade, where over 400 years ago, millions of our brothers and sisters were captured, sold, and transported under inhumane and cruel circumstances through Elmina Castle across to the Caribbeans and to the New World. On behalf of the chiefs and people of Ghana, I do render unqualified apology, deep from the bottom of our hands. Well, I have a question. Now let you go. What is, what is the word Akata? Akata is a word that misuse in our own African community. That's what I, I understand. Is it used in some of the Ghana people? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's a good way. Why is that? I well, I don't know. According to people, I always say Akata. Akata means my African-American brothers and sisters. That's it. That's all I know. Na 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 Stay away from near Kata Stay away from near Kata Stay away from all the gangsters and hustlers and killers and all the shooting shooting that nigga Stay away from near Kata Stay away from near Kata Stay away from all the gangsters and hustlers and killers All the shooting, shooting ass niggas, niggas, niggas See if we can work this out well, Don't take this personally, Romelo. It won't work You do your thing, I do my thing, you know It won't work, we can't work with Akata Akata, Akata Where's this Akata shit? Like American? Oh shit Cotton picker oh. 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 This is a Zondervan's Pictorial Bible Dictionary. Hail, on page 330. Hail, the youngest son of Noah. The what? The youngest son of Noah. All right now, so he comes from Noah. Noah, Noah is a forefather of mine, right? Go ahead. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. Go ahead. And one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor, what? The progenitor of the dark races. He became the progenitor of the dark races. That's who Ham was, according to the Bible, right? So now let's get a little more. Go ahead. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Uh -huh. Not the Negro. Not the who? Not the Negro. Not the what? Not the Negro. But who did he become the progenitor of? Go ahead. The Egyptians. The what? The Egyptians. The Egyptians who had you in slavery, man. Right. Egyptians have black people in slavery. We're going to get that too. You know who the Egyptians were? They were called, they were, today they are known as what, Su Sudanese? I believe Su Sudan. They come from Su Sudan. Those were the Egyptians. Right. Now, after uh, Alexander the Great, he became white man. Right. And that's what you believe you was under. You was under black, other black people. Right. But they weren't Israelites. Right. They were African. So the Egyptians, go ahead. The Egyptians. Ethiopians, Ethiopians, go ahead. Libyans, the Libyans, and Canaanites, and the Canaanites, all African countries who Israel went to war with. The Benin, all those Africans are now apologizing for their role in slavery. Black man, you ain't no damn African, man. Give me the Bible dictionary, man. You ain't no African. The jig is up. You ain't like Barack Obama, his father from Kenya, man. Michelle Obama is your sister, not Barack Obama. Them two big-headed alien hunchback daughters he got in the White House, they're Africans. They ain't black people, man. They ain't Negroes. They don't descend from people that worked on plantations and got their backs wet by some long-nosed, blue-eyed criminal white man. 
They sold your people into slavery. You got some more? Come on. I'm all good. In 2006, Ghana apologized. Who? Ghana apologized. In 2006, Ghana apologized for their role in slavery. Now what you telling me, some African going to call me his brother? Will you sell your brother into slavery? Will you sell your friend into slavery? You Africans are going to be our slaves in the next kingdom under a black man called Jesus Christ. You better bow, that, bow down now and recognize the prophets of the Lord. And are you on your knees because you recognize what the Nigerians did to black people? You, what did they do to black people? We sold you guys as slaves. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. For those of you that didn't hear what he said, this Nigerian is on his knees because he said, we sold you black people as slaves. This is what he's saying right now. He's recognizing that slavery was part and parcel because you, and that's what I mean, you Negroes want to be African. Africa, Africa, Africa. Here's a real African. Here's a real life Nigerian right before your eyes. And he said, we sold you in slavery. I'm on my knees to make penance for him. I'm on my knees to apologize. I assume you apologize. He's on his knees to apologize. Black people, you should see this, man. Don't be afraid. Ain't nobody gonna harm you. Come on up here and see this Nigerian. See it for yourself. See it and learn. Learn that you are not an African. That you are God's chosen people that the Africans sold into slavery in America, man. And this man is in Right now, put y'all faith in presidents like they gon' change this country. Run the league and let y'all play, cause y'all gon' make a money. Fuck Obama, he ain't come here on cargo slave ship. What the fuck he do for blacks in his administration? I'm waiting, patient like a saint. Black Hispanic native, they hate your ass the same. Paint Christ in their image, paint you as a slave. God ain't all love, scriptures say he hate. African soul niggas, they know we not the same.